everyone, it's Judy. Welcome back to the On Track Podcast. Today we have a unique podcast where I will not be joined live by our guest, but you will get a chance to meet him live later. We're going to speak today or hear from today from Robert Ferenic of FedEvil Academy. Later you get the chance to speak to him at Altium Live on Meet and Greet in our Discord channel where you can interact with him virtually. So I'll put those links below to both Altium Live and Discord community. And meanwhile, lean in, enjoy this On Track Insight with Robert Ferenic. Welcome to Altium's On Track Podcast, where we talk to leaders about PCB design, tackling subjects ranging from schematic capture all the way to the manufacturing floor. I'm your host, Judy Warner. Please listen in every week and subscribe on iTunes, Stitcher, and all your favorite podcast apps. And be sure to check out the show notes at altium.com forward slash podcast, where you can find great resources and multiple ways to connect with us on social media. We created On Track Insight videos where we interview some of your favorite thought leaders and design engineers. And one of those people is of course, Robert Ferranic. And if you don't know Robert, you're one of very few people. He does training online. He's a very popular YouTuber among the design community. And we got to interview him last year at Altium Live. And he shares his thoughts about the industry, about engineering, about education and so much more. So we're gonna share some of those clips in today's podcast. Those videos, besides Roberts, there's a whole series with Rick Hartley, Jeremy Blum, Eric Bogatin, and so many more. Those will be coming out shortly and published on YouTube, but we've integrated them as part of Altium Live, which is next week, you guys. So if you haven't signed up, get over there. I'll put the link in the show notes. So um, Robert will be joining us in a live meet and greet on Discord. Uh, which is sort of like Slack. It's a live interactive channel where you can meet Robert and uh, have a casual conversation and ask him all your burning questions. So today we're just going to serve up a few of his clips as he talks about engineering, Altium Live, and things that he's concerned about. Here in his own words, he tells you a little bit about himself and FedEvil Academy. Okay, my name is uh, Robert Feranek uh, and uh, probably most people know me from my YouTube videos, but I, uh, I try to actually teach people how to design boards and uh, uh, I'm doing it because uh, I was lucky and, uh, and I have got uh, quite good experience in designing boards and I saw that Sometimes uh, to help people, you just need to explain a little bit how to do it. And once they know how to do it, then it's actually much easier than people would initially think. Robert has a rich background in high performance backplane design. And in this clip, he talks about why he moved from a really um, challenging, rewarding uh, professional engineering background to becoming an educator and why he finds it so gratifying to serve design engineers like you. So my first course uh, was about how to design boards professionally. You know, how to transfer from being hobbyist or amateur to design a board which can go to mass production because it's like huge difference designing boards only for yourself which you sold or, or something once comparing to professional hardware design. As you know, at All Team Live, if we haven't drilled it in your brain yet, as well as the podcast, our theme is learn, connect, get inspired. I believe that learning is one of the number one needs of design engineers today because technology moves so fast. And we hope that we do that here on the podcast and at All Team Live. In this next clip with Robert, he talks about that same thing, but in his own words. He talks about his experience at Altium Live and why he thinks it is a valuable experience for him to attend and why he looks forward to them each year. If, especially if companies are very small, it may look like you are alone. But if you go on this kind of conference, it's like 
so many people and all of them like using Altium and you can see like many of them uh, they are like, really really nice people so that's what I like about the Altium live conference you meet a lot of really great people and uh, about the topics uh, some of them are really really interesting so even I would like to see some of these speeches so you can learn something new and I actually I made uh, one YouTube video I think I made uh, about the past uh, speech from Altium Live because it was so interesting that I really had to share with other people that watch this presentation from Altium Live because some of them are really really cool so some some conferences or, or some presentations are really really good then you meet a, a lot of uh, interesting and great people and I'm not saying this only because it's like oh, I need, you need to say there are great people there are really are great people it's very nice to meet the people from uh, all the kind of companies what you can read about and you can just say ah I met the engineers from these companies what they are designing all this great stuff the underlying theme of this year's All Team Live 2020 is innovation and collaboration, and we think it's no more important than it is now as we all work remote. In this next clip, Robert talks about how it's very easy to work in a silo and why it's easy to, to look at our upstream and downstream stakeholders in the process and think it's so easy. In this clip, he explains why he thinks it's not. Many people think, oh, this, you are doing this, it's so simple. It's not simple, it's never simple. If you do think professionally, there are many things around which you need to take into consideration. Robert shares this conviction with two people that will be presenting at Altium Live this year. One is Eli Hughes of T0, who makes a sensor that measure fermentation from um, for craft breweries. I will share his podcast below, but he will be speaking with us live and be hosting a happy hour. And Eli came up with the term that he thought he coined full stack hardware engineer. But then our friend Jeremy Baum <laughs> chimed in and when he named his topic, he used the same thing. So I think the takeaway here is that it's not as easy as, as we thought it was. And so we'll have two presenters at Altium Live this year in Jeremy Blum from Shaper Tools and Eli Hughes from T0 talking about why you need to become a wider based design engineer, understand some software and hardware and understand the challenges that you can cause for upstream or downstream stakeholders. In our final clip in this On Track Insights with Robert Ferranik, he talks about his number one concern for the future of engineering as electronics become ubiquitous in our world, especially with the proliferation of IoT devices. I'm more uh, concerned about uh, security of the, the, these devices, mm -hmm. <laughs> but I, I'm not sure if this is an interesting absolutely. topic for electronics. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Like, what, what are the... Because once it is everywhere and once everything is connected to internet, how you are going to be sure that uh, every company is going to release security patches for these devices and that's what I would be like more concerned about not about the hardware the software security because everyone will have it at home and you can see you can see it even now companies they just release something and they don't care about the software and security they just would like to sell 20 dollar camera for everyone or something like that so not hardware, but software. I think it's going to be problem yeah. with IoT. <laughs> Here at Altium, we agree with Robert, and we too are concerned about our own security and for the security of our customers and users um, using Altium 365 and working in the cloud. We're taking great measures to work on security on our end, and to that end, Dave Pellerin of Amazon Web Surface has come to give a keynote and talk about secure cloud and how we can look forward to working in secure environments. Well, I hope you enjoyed this teaser of Robert Frannick's On Track Insight video. Remember, you can come over to Altium Live and meet him in our Discord community. The link is below. And uh, I hope you will join us at Altium Live. It's free, it's virtual, and easy to attend. 
and we've set up a lot of interactive opportunities for you in Discord. So I hope to see you there. Finally, don't forget, over the next month, we'll be teeing up sort of a best of series of the top performing podcasts that were your fan favorites in 2020. So hope to see it all, TM Live. Remember to come back and keep listening to the On Track podcast. We really appreciate you. Thanks so much for listening. We'll see you next time. Actually, not until November here on the podcast. Hope to see it all, TM Live. Stay healthy, stay safe, and always remember to stay on track.